Hey, good morning, team. It is Tuesday, August 22nd. I'm Amy Kaur, and guess who I'm with? That's right, Kevin Van Neck. And we are at the Goose Island office, and we are talking about just one thing as we are almost wrapping up summer, which is so crazy. Uh, but we do have a really great topic for us this morning, and it's about being a market expert. So on that note, which I know you're excited to say, how can I be a better market expert? <laughs> Grab that cup of coffee, tea, power smoothie, whatever it might be this morning, and let's jump into the next episode of Coffee with Amy and Kevin. That's right. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, everyone. Fire up the caffeine. It's time to become that expert. So how many times, there's a question to ask yourself, how many times has someone asked you about the market or you've started talking about the market proactively and then realized that you actually don't know the details? that you're either hopefully not making things up, but being intentionally vague because you don't know the details and it's an uncomfortable feeling. And if you put yourself on the, in the other person's shoes, you can tell when somebody is intentionally being vague or the conversation or the data that's being delivered, the messaging just isn't as valuable as it could be and not as compelling as it could be if there were specifics. So we're gonna talk about becoming a market expert, how to do that, how to leverage it, and how to make sure that that differentiates you in your marketplace from any other agent. Yeah, I think with this market being as interesting as it is right now, right? I mean, I feel like, look, we're all talking about it in the mm -hmm. offices all the time, you know, kind of what's happening in the market, what do we think is gonna happen in the next three to six to nine months as it relates to prices and to rates. You know, there's a lot of conversation. There's also a lot of noise out there, right? A lot of different headlines that our, you know, clientele are quite honestly reading right now. And when you think about, oh God, you know, how do I become a market expert? one of the things that can be overwhelming is you might work in a handful of different markets, right? Like if you are in the city of Chicago, for example, you know, you might work in different neighborhoods. So what we want you to do is instead of feeling overwhelmed, it's about taking one neighborhood, one school district, whatever it is that you work in and really focus on it this week. Really take a look at the data and the information about that market. So it's about looking at things like the the obvious month supply of inventory you know what are we seeing the levels are right now right how how long is it taking for properties to go under contract also curious, are we seeing properties fall out of contract at kind of a different pace? You know, are there things that go under quickly, but we're seeing during inspection, things are falling apart because maybe it's so competitive for buyers. Somebody's just putting it under contract, but it, it doesn't necessarily stick, right? Um, taking a look at just kind of what's happening. And as Kevin and I were talking about this earlier this morning, really looking at trends. Are there trends that you're seeing in your market right now that are compelling interesting or maybe even telling you something, you know? So maybe there's particular price points within your given market that seem to be slowing down a little bit, or maybe there's one that is, you know, still going incredibly fast. Also, what about things that aren't on the market yet? Are there coming soons that maybe you want to make sure you're in front of or on top of so that when you're having conversations with people in your market, with potential clients, again, you're at the top of your game. We oftentimes feel like we're kind of all over the board. And sometimes when we feel like, you know, we don't know what to do, maybe we aren't as busy, we sometimes just sort of sit and don't do anything. So what we want to encourage you to do is this week, become a master of one of your markets. Uh, take a look at the trends, take a look at the data, because you wanna be able to answer questions like, why do you think that's happening, mm -hmm. right? And you're not gonna be able to come up with a conclusion unless you're really starting to kind of take a look at some of the data. That's right. Take the time to do it because this will differentiate you. Mm -hmm. Most agents do what we started with, which is the vague, the, the generalization of what's happening in the market, feelings versus hard data. If you know hard data, people will follow your lead. People will be interested. You will position yourself as an expert, which is something that most other agents won't do. And technology won't be able to deliver to your consumer the same way you can because you are living it today. So make sure you become this market expert, study it, and this will push you in the fall 
to become the expert where people are attracted to you to sell their homes or to buy their new homes. Yep, and I'm gonna use an example that kind of prompted us this morning. One of our managing brokers, Jorge Abreu. If any of you know him, he's a data guy. Watch out, Don Shea. But he uh, likes to take a look at numbers. And I will tell you, when he sends his email out to his office, I love looking at it because it gives me insight and information in what's happening in his particular uh, communities. And he sends this out to help support his agents. He sent something uh, about two, maybe three, three weeks ago that showed just trends. There were uh, probably a, a 10 communities kind of in, new uh, in the North Shore of Chicago. And he looked at uh, from July of 2008 through July of 2023, what the inventory numbers were that month, year over year. And it was mind blowing. I think taking one off the top of my head, I think we'll met in 2008, the inventory might have been, what was it, 400 homes. And right. now it's like 68 homes, you know, so good, bad, or indifferent, interesting data. So, um, you know, taking a look at some of that stuff, that's a great conversation. And it's really interesting information for you to have, but it takes the time to be able to actually look into it. People want an expert. It's another piece of the puzzle as to why they would choose to work with you and differentiate yourself from any of the other options that are out there. Yep, so your goal, take a market this week, become the expert, look at the data, look at the trends, and make yourself that much more valuable to your consumer base. And All pop right. it into the comments. Yeah. Let us know which community you're going to focus on, and then share with us how that impacts over the next several months. Email us, coffee at, at properties.com. Email us, let us know how the becoming a market expert impacts your business. Yep. So thanks so much for joining us this Tuesday morning. We hope you have a great week. And until we see you next time, remember, you got this.